This is Lenny the Lawyer Live, and I'm coming to you today from Clifton, New Jersey, to talk about something that really angers me. I'm here to protect you against debt settlement and debt consolidation scams and show you why bankruptcy is a better alternative. But I need a little caffeine. Now, let me explain the difference between debt settlement and debt consolidation and bankruptcy. Bankruptcy is your right under federal law. It's tightly regulated and attorney and services for bankruptcy can be provided to you only by licensed attorneys. Debt settlement and debt consolidation companies are rarely, if ever, run or owned by attorneys let alone licensed attorneys. When you put your financial future in someone's hands, you want to know they know what they're doing. Stick around, watch this video to the end, and if you like what you see, not only check the subscribe button, but also leave me a note in the comments or send me a private message, and I'll send you my book on Chapter 7 Bankruptcy. But now let's get started with the rest of the video. Debt settlement and debt consolidation typically tell you in their advertisements, they'll save you thousands of dollars. They'll, save, they'll get your debts compromised for pennies on the dollar. What they don't tell you is they're not doing anything special for you. They're not providing you with any legal protection. They also don't bother to tell you that for the two to four years they require to resolve your debts, they're going to be direct, directly debiting their fees every month out of your checking account. Personally, I think that's unconscionable. Nobody should directly debit from your checking account to fix your financial problems. And by the way, a typical debt settlement company will charge more in four or five months than I do for an entire Chapter 7 bankruptcy or a Chapter 13 bankruptcy, if that's what's needed in your situation. When you file for Chapter 7 bankruptcy or Chapter 13 bankruptcy, you're protected. Section 362 of the United States Bankruptcy Code, which is commonly known as the automatic stay provision prevents your creditors from filing a lawsuit against you unless they get the express permission of the bankruptcy court. When you have debt settlement or debt consolidation services, there is no legal protection whatsoever. In fact, several clients of mine came to me because they had retained the services of these companies. They were faithfully making payments, and yet they were sued. What's the point of debt settlement or debt consolidation if you're only going to get sued? And what's also offensive to me, and should be to you as well, is that debt settlement companies and debt consolidation companies are taking their fees each and every month by direct debit from your checking account, whether you have the money to pay for it or not. And what service and what protection do they offer you? They offer you no protection. They can't legally stop a creditor from suing you. I've had several clients come to me specifically that had retained debt consolidation companies, were making payments, and were sued by the creditor. I put a stop to that. I filed the bankruptcy for them. And when a bankruptcy is filed under Section 362 of the automatic stay, of the U.S. Bankruptcy Code, all lawsuits must stop. All garnishments of your pay will be stopped. There are two exceptions to that rule. Garnishments for, for child support and garnishments owed to federal government agencies are exempt from being stopped by the bankruptcy. Now, these debt settlement companies and debt consolidation services are debiting 
your their fees from your checking account or savings account each and every month. I think that's unconscionable. I would never do that to any of my clients. And in fact, when clients come to me after they've been victimized by a debt settlement or debt consolidation company, I'm frequently able to get back all or the vast majority of the fees they paid. And as I said earlier, if you stick around to the end of this video and drop a note in the comments and click the subscribe button, if you've liked this video, I'll send you my free book on bankruptcy. And if you retain my law firm to represent you in your bankruptcy, after your bankruptcy is concluded, I'll send you my other book on how to reestablish your credit. If you think you'll have to wait 10 years to reestablish your credit, you're absolutely wrong. But we'll discuss reestablishing your credit in another video. For now, I want you to realize that bankruptcy is your right under federal law. It gives you protection against creditor lawsuits. It's a legal, it's your legal right, as I've indicated. Debt settlement and debt consolidation are nothing more than scams. So let's call them what they are. This is Lenny the Lawyer live. So when you want the latest in legal advice and to know the law in the state of New Jersey, call me. This video is provided for entertainment and informational purposes only. It is not intended to be legal advice. Legal advice can only be given to you in an in-person or secure video conference where attorney-client privilege applies. Have a great day and come back next week to learn more about the law from Lenny the Lawyer Live.